Hi, in this video you will learn about the languages used to build Android apps. This is a pizza base and this is cheese. Both of them separately do not excite us. But what about now? Yummy, right? It's the same with learning Android. We are going to learn two separate things like using XML and Kotlin to develop independent components, which once combined will give us the wonderful output of an Android app. So, in this training, we are going to build native Android apps. Wondering what does the word native mean here? Well, here is the first exercise for you. Pause the video here, go online and search for the term native Android apps on Google. Find out what are the other types of Android apps that are developed. Now, you may be thinking that why are we asking you to Google this information? Can't we give it to you ourselves? Well, this is because learning to find answers to questions on your own is a very important skill that an Android developer needs to have. And throughout this training, at several places, we would give you exercises like this that would not only enhance your knowledge, but will also help you build this critical self-learning skill. So, now that we know we will be using XML and Kotlin to make an Android app, let's see what these two languages are. So, what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is a meta-language which allows users to define their own customized markup languages, especially in order to display documents on the internet. In simpler terms, it is a language which consists of tags, which store some information. These tags can be used to present data on a screen. We will learn more about these tags in the next topic. Next, let's see what is Kotlin. Kotlin is a statically typed programming language based on Java Virtual Machine. Google announced Kotlin to be the fundamental language for the development of Android applications in 2017. Don't worry if you don't understand a lot of these terms. We will be covering them in the upcoming topics. Now, the next question is, where do we write code using these two languages? And how do these codes written in two different languages, interact with each other to give us a fully functional Android app. Well, just like you need a kitchen, that is, an environment where you can use the various ingredients and tools to prepare the pizza, similarly, you need an environment to write code in these two languages and turn them into a fully functional Android app. This environment has many tools that help us in writing our code. And it's all provided to us by Google. We will introduce this environment and the tools in the next topic. Now, let me ask you a question. Apart from native Android apps, what other types of Android apps are there? Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner will receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about the languages used to build Android apps. This video is a part of Internshala Training's Android App Development Program. And to learn more about Android App Development, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red bell icon and stay tuned for more videos.